Good evening, my viewers. Actually, when, when I'm filming today, it's uh, a beautiful afternoon, beautiful spring afternoon in Croton on the Hudson, New York. I'm at the Croton Free Library, and I'm with an author in my continuing series on the Get On Deck show with George On Deck. I have this local author who has written a children's book. He is... Yes, so my name is A. Longus. You could call me Anthony. Uh, it's the title of the book is The Adventures of Savannah and the Magic Unicorn, and it's uh, loosely based on uh, my uh, four little nieces. And it's it's a magical ride on a on a, a, a unicorn. Yes, on a, a magic unicorn, unicorn and a, a carpet. Okay. Well, actually, no. It, it goes back and forth through time. So she wants to uh, find out where her favorite uh, favorite foods were invented. So she travels back and forth through time. She loves pizza and pasta. Wow. And her ventures start, start there. Sounds good. Two of my favorite foods. <laughs> yeah, and so everybody. Look at this, Anthony. <laughs> uh, i got to watch that pizza and pasta. But, okay, we're going to shortly go inside to the uh, library. They're having mm -hmm. an author's day today, yes. which is a fine thing they're doing here. Yes. And you're going to join a, a list of authors I've had on my TV show. Mm -hmm. One of them was uh, Allison Pataki, who wound up on the New York Times list with a number one bestseller. Yes. And I'm hopeful in the future of also uh, having Mary Calvey on my show. Yes. She has just written a book on, on George Washington mm -hmm. and his, li his life and his loves, I wow. believe. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you, Michael. Uh, we'll be going inside shortly thank to you. discuss your book. Thank you for the opportunity. Uh, bring you up to Thank you so much, Ms. Skelly. I'm George Ondek. I'm a local cable TV host in Westchester. Um, I'm here today with Anthony, or A. Longus, who's wrote, written a beautiful book, a child's book. And the reason I have a unicorn, the book is about a unicorn and children who go to Italy and learn how to make pasta and pizza. Uh, Anthony, welcome. Thank you. Uh, to the Croton Library. And again, you want to thank somebody for uh, yes, inviting so I, us today. I'd like to thank Lois Skelly for allowing this uh, opportunity and the Croton Free Library. And did you say at the end of this uh, uh, session you will be signing the books? To yes, anybody, anybody who wants to book, purchase. And there'll be no charge yeah, of for course, that. Of course, yes. <laughs> okay. Anthony, what is this book all about now? Well, I based the book on uh, my four little nieces. At that time, they were little. They're big now. But um, uh, she, my oldest niece, uh, Silvana, she likes pizza and pasta, as all kids and adults do, right? So um, I decided to write a book about her going back in time on a magical unicorn. It goes back and forth through time. And that's why I have a yeah. unicorn with me today. That's a prop. <laughs> So um, she goes back in time to see when her favorite dishes, pizza and pasta, were invented. And, you know, she has adventures over there, and she gets to know, uh, you know, a little bit about her background. And uh, I don't know any kids that, you know, any kid that doesn't like pizza and pasta. You know, what like, gave you the idea to write this type of ch children's story? And I hear you have a background as a teacher as well. Yes. Um, uh, I was certified for elementary uh, education from K to six. Mm -hmm. And uh, what got me started writing the book is that my sister was reading a uh, children's story. And I, th I felt that it was a rhyme, uh, a book that, of rhymes. Mm -hmm. And I felt that it uh, missed a lot of obvious rhymes. So I said, you know what, let me try my hand. If that guy could write a book, I could write a book too. So that's how I got it started. So. Anthony, as a person who always wanted to write a book but never sat down to do it, what inspired you and how did you get started to write, become an author? Well, uh, you know, I, at first it seemed a little daunting uh, to get it all started because of the requirements and you had to p uh, pick out a publisher and, you know, there's a whole process to it. But I said, you know what? I, it's in my field. So I, I deal you with kids. You were teaching elementary, elementary school, yes. In Yonkers, I believe. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. You have a good memory. <laughs> and, um, um, you wrote it in honor of your nieces and nephews. You well, and I, now I have a nephew. Then I only had nieces. Oh, okay. <laughs> what gave you the idea for 
a trip on a unicorn to Italy for pizza and pasta making how it's made? <coughs> well, um, I got the idea of a magical unicorn because, you know, uh, kids, especially my nieces and uh, little girls love unicorns. They're all over the place. What so, actually is a unicorn? That's what you're <laughs> you have. <laughs> but I don't it. know what it is. It has one horn. It's like a horse-like creature. Mine is actually considered a pegasus. But if you, you know, with children, pegasus, what's a pegasus? So they know unicorn, so I said flying you, is unicorn. It, is it an imaginary animal? Oh, no, actually, in the story, it's like um, a, a physical animal that could represent uh, itself to people who believe in unicorns. Only those who don't believe in you unicorns can't believe. see it. Yes. It sounds like a marvelous children's book, especially around Christmas time, and I think all year round. Yes, I, that's I it. You know, I, I wrote it so that you know, any day of the year you could read it. You know, if uh, the children are starting to learn to read, they could start learning to read with their parents or grandparents or a loved one. So. One of my favorite movies of all time, my wife and I, is The Wizard of Oz, mm -hmm. which was aimed at children. Mm -hmm. It's a beautiful story. Yes. And I, I think yours, I've read your book. It's mm -hmm. kind of heartwarming, too. Mm -hmm. And I think the children would really benefit and their parents by reading it to them. I appreciate that. Um, if people who are watching my TV show, as, as well as all the people here in Croton, this big crowd we have today, um, are, are watching, how can they obtain a copy, or is there a website they can contact you? Or yes, so, uh, I have a, um, uh, a website called ethnicfables.com, and you can purchase the book there. There are links to other things. Um, in the future, I would hope to have my book uh, in animation, you know, like the wow, animated that would be film. Yeah. So there's a uh, GoFundMe link over there that they could go to mm -hmm. to, you know, okay. help make we this really a reality. really can't go into that too much <laughs> unless it was non for profit. Mm -hmm. But it sounds like a good idea too. So uh, you've launched your career now as an author. Mm -hmm. Will you be writing another book? Yes, I plan to. Okay. Mm -hmm. well, what do you think the theme of that one? That's kind of hard to say, but this time, since you know, I based the book on my nieces, now I have a little nephew, so it's going to be based on him. Okay, <laughs> so you'd make it more towards a boy, rather than yeah. this yeah. Uh, um, based towards all children or just a girl? Well, it, it will be for all children, but the main character will be a little boy this time. Okay. Uh, I've asked you a few questions. Is there anything in the addition you would like to have the people here today who may purchase your book? Mm -hmm. uh, and the people on my network, I'm on public access throughout Westchester mm -hmm. with about a million viewers mm -hmm. on Altice Cablevision mm -hmm. and on YouTube all over the world. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, is there anything else you think they should know about your book and about you? Mm -hmm. Well, uh, I, uh, as he mentioned before, elementary school teacher uh, in Yonkers, and uh, I received my master's way back, I won't say what year, but <laughs> it's been a while. But uh, yes, if you go to the website, I have uh, YouTube interviews and you know just about anything you need to know and about the book. And what again is your website? Ethnicfables.com. Ethnicfables. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Basically, uh, there's not much more I can say mm -hmm. except people purchase this book. It's very heartwarming, especially if you have little children. It would be great for them to read. And Anthony, I want to really thank you today for appearing here at Pro thank Free you. Library. Mm -hmm. And we want to thank Ms. Skelly yes. for inviting us today. Thank you very much. Thank you for inviting us. And the other authors that are here today, we wish you well in your books as well. Yes, same here. <laughs> okay, till next time, this has been George on deck promoting uh, local author Ant A. Longus or Anthony Longus, who who uh, I'm sure you'll enjoy the book. Thank you again. Thank you. So Anthony, how was it? Uh, how was the, the first appearance you've made at a library promoting your children's book? Uh, it was fine. Uh, you know, it went better than I expected. And I uh, appreciate uh, Lois uh, Skelly from the Croton Free Library giving me this opportunity. Yep, she's been doing this, she told me, for 15 years. And it's amazing that I haven't heard about it, but thanks to you I found out about this. And maybe in the future there are many authors will be on the George On Deck mm -hmm. show. And I'm going to wish you good luck once again with your book. Okay, how, how can people 
obtain a copy of it or contact you? Oh, well, they could go to ethnicfables.com. Uh, everything's on the website. Uh, What's the website? Ethnicfables.com. Okay. Is there a phone number they can reach you at or well, an email address well, as well? Well, all the uh, links are on the uh, Ethnic Fables web, uh, website. I also have a link to a GoFundMe page mm -hmm. uh, because I want in the future to be able to uh, animate my books, to have an animation uh, based on the book. Okay, very good. Thank you once again for okay, being thank a you. great Appreciate guest it. and a future great author thank on you. the George Arnold Show. Thank I you. wish you the same as Alison Pataki. Yes, that would be great. <laughs> Take care. Yeah, thank you. Till next time, this will, again was a one of my series of authors, and we wish Anthony very good luck with his book.